What is up guys, Evil Do Arm here today, and today I have for you a video where we're going to be looking at improving your FPS even more in Blade and Soul. So if you're looking up in the top corner right now, and if you can see it, I don't know if you can, um, I'm up at 120 FPS right now, and I don't think I've ever been that high. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to get up to this level or get up to that FPS mount, um, what sorts of things to change in game. So this is a continuation from the How to Improve Your FPS video uh, that I put out last year, so we're going to call this New for 2018, I guess, new tips and stuff that I've learned since uh, before in that last video so if you haven't watched that video make sure you do everything you see in that video or just about everything there's a few different things I'll point out here when we get in this one but anyway guys yeah so watch that video first if you haven't links in the description links in the card in the top corner right now watch that video but anyway we're gonna look at what we can change now so right now I'm hovering at about 120 FPS and when I hop into combat here against this little long guai -o -y. I actually got in trouble from Kuropia the other day because I couldn't pronounce his name you're seeing I'm sitting at about 60 FPS 55 50 49 48 44 um, you know, so not too too uh, much going on there, right? Not too, uh, nothing too impressive, I guess, would be the way to put it. Um, yeah, so whenever I'm up and fighting against the guy, I'm at about 60 FPS. So there's actually a few little things we can do to change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop out of this boss right now, uh, hop out real quick, and go in to change some of these settings. So first things first is uh, uncapping your frame rate, which I, I guess... I don't know why, but uh, I used to keep this thing at around 70, 75, um, because I was only getting about 60 FPS. I sent that sucker up to 120, and I'm getting 120. So uh, play with this number. Try and keep it on the higher end. It might help you a little bit. Um, on your advanced options, once again, make sure your shadow visibilities are always at minimum, and your uh, special effects qualities, you don't really need those either. Those are just like flares and lights and stuff going off. And turning those off will definitely improve your FPS. Um, otherwise, you know, same settings that we had from the other videos. Now, out of the game, as far as out of the game, what things have changed, um, these are some new new little tips here. So first things first, you're going to want to go into your task manager, and in the task manager, once again, make sure that you have the set priority set to high for Blade and Soul. Uh, make sure you set it to high for Blade and Soul. Next one, down here, we got our good friend Xgen Code. Um, Xgen Code is the anti-cheat software on here, and we're going to uh, set that priority to low on that. So set priority to low on both of the two Xgen Code uh, items. The two Xgen code items are uh, this X Cardon host and this XXD zero XSM. It's got Xgen code right in the name right there. So you're gonna go ahead and set those suckers right down to uh, to the lowest setting. If you un if you delete them, then you risk uh, causing the game to crash and all that good stuff. But anyway. So those are your changes on the uh, task manager side. What I want to do is I want to get to my search bar down at the bottom. So my webcam is covering it, so I do apologize. But what you're going to want to search for is the phrase uh, appearance. And if I could spell appearance. Yeah, the appearance and, perform and performance of Windows. So you see that top thing that just popped up right there? Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and search that. This is only going to work on Windows 10. So make sure you are on Windows 10 when you run this sucker. On Windows 10, what you're going to want to do is you see this menu pop up right here. It says performance options. On the performance options menu, you're going to want to click adjust for best performance. Uh, adjust for best performance is right there. Uh, click apply. It's going to take a second. Click OK. Uh, when a OK goes through, if it ever applies. OK, there it goes. It just went. Cool. We're back into that setting now. All right. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the um, game mode menu for Windows 10. So once again, this is only Windows uh, Windows 10 feature here. So you're going to hit Win G. Uh, so the Windows key and the G on your keyboard. Go ahead and click on the settings menu down here. And then you're going to see use game mode for this game. Check that box. And that is it. You just got to check that box right there. Um, once again, turn on game mode is right here. Um, you can just click this button right there. If you hover it, you'll see it pops up. It says turn off game mode, turn on game mode. Settings, just make sure you have it set to uh, use game mode for this game. All right, so those are all of your settings that you're going to change here. And we're going to go ahead and pop in here and see uh, what our FPS is now running at. So uh, let's see. And as you can see right there, we're hitting 76, 75, um, 78, 80 even during combat right now, right up against the boss. I mean, that's it's crazy how much more FPS you're getting out of this just by changing those things. I mean, that's 10, 15 more FPS simply for those few settings that you saw right there. Um, I also took, yeah, I mean, really, guys, make, <laughs> these are like no-brainer changes that you need to do if you want to improve your FPS on Blade and Soul. So you can see I'm hitting 78, 80s, high 60s. So before I was bouncing between 70 and uh, between uh, 50 and 64-ish, and now I'm hopping between like 65 and 80 um, just by fighting. So guys, it's a 15 FPS increase um, for my system anyway. I'm sure you'll see a similar uh, increase in FPS. This, this is just, you have to do this. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I mean, it, it makes the game so much more playable, enjoyable, fun, any word you want to use on that. Um, in addition to increasing your DPS as well, being able to cast more spells. But
Anyway guys, that is basically it. We're just going to go ahead and uh, recap the things we got to change real quick. Make sure you got them all written down, all locked away, you know what you're doing here. So first off, go to the Windows menu and go to uh, Task Manager, Startup Task Manager, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that uh, Blade and Soul is set to, or Client.exe is set to Affinity. Right click, set, affin uh, set Priority rather to High. And then for the XGen codes at the bottom of our list alphabetically here, make sure those are set to low uh, for the priority set to low on the XGen codes. Um, next one we're going to go ahead and do is make sure that we search for the uh, appearance and performance menu. So once again, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. You see it right there. And make sure you set the adjust for best performance. Um, just as a reminder, when you're done playing Blade Soul, make sure to switch this back. Otherwise, you're going to have crappy looking menus all over the place uh, when you go ahead and try to actually just use your computer regularly so make sure to set that one back after you're done with this final thing we're going to do ahead and make sure we change is on the Windows G menu so if you are rocking Windows 10 you have uh, this Windows G menu and uh, this Windows G menu make sure you just tick this box right here um, this uh, turn on game mode box and then in the settings menu make sure you hit use game mode for this game so next time you load up the game it will automatically start in this and you don't have to do that but anyway, guys, those are basically the changes. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. If it helps you out anyway, make sure you uh, leave a like, you know, share it with your friends, help your friends get better FPS. Um, and if you did like the video, I encourage you to check out some of the other stuff on the channel. Got a lot of great content. And remember to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.